In this video, it's the continuing wiper sagas of Ellie the 2CV. So you will have seen in the last um, 2CV wiper video that I fitted a temporary unit while the original one, well it's not the original one, it was already an aftermarket one, uh, I sent off to my friend Colin for refurbishment. Uh, before we open the package and see what he's um, sent me, um, here is some video he's put together himself. Now, um, uh, Colin isn't an expert videographer, not that I can talk, because I'm not either. His camera is somewhat lacking, so it's a bit grainy, a bit, the, the focus is a bit off at times, but there is a lathe involved, so stick with it. Right. Ellie's wiper motor assembly. Let's have a look. Right, what tends to happen is these outer bushes um, wear, the inners don't wear but the outers do and you get a huge amount of play in the, uh, in the whole assembly. Um, so what we want to do is knock that, knock that um, middle bush out and, uh, and replace the outer. They also never waterproofed them and will waterproof it at the same time. So there we have the uh, the remnants of the bush, um, and when you put it on the shaft, a the shaft is horrible and sticky, and b there's a reasonable amount of play. So we shall clean the shaft, measure them up, and get on with making some bushes. So a spindle mounted in the lathe. Somewhere here there's a tiny, tiny bit of wear on the shaft, but it's basically an insignificant amount. Um, when I did mine I had to machine all this away. Uh, on these, with a wider bush, it will run here and here essentially, and this bit will barely come into contact with anything. So we'll chuck the other one in the lathe, clean it up, and see where we go from there. So the shaft's nominally 7.82 millimeters and the outside of the bushing is 10.97 so we'll write that down and we'll go looking for a drill bit That's down to 1095, should be good enough. So there's your old bush and new bush comparison. You can see the new bush is um, longer than the old one, so it'll give it far more support and that will hopefully mean that there's no issue with that slightly worn bit on the spindle. So waterproofing next. 
Uh, Citroen did a poor job. They don't, I don't even think they tried to waterproof these. Uh, so the rain ends up coming straight through the straight through the centre down the side of the spindle. So I take a piece of fuel line and push that down, which is trapped between the um, new outer bush and the old uh, inner bush. And then once I've got the bushings in, I'll run the drill back through to make sure everything's concentric. So now we've got the whole spindle assembly back in the lathe to remove the excess rubber from the fuel line. So assembly, spindle, Citroen's attempt at waterproofing is just an o-ring, put that back on. Uh, then we have spindle housing with the new bearing in with a crinkly washer and then a common or garden flat washer and then the uh, wiper spindle uh, its, itself and that's just a case of tap that down onto that and the job is done. Right, whole unit back together and no play in spindles. Everything's greased up, so I'll just throw it in the box and post it back to Ian. Thank you, Colin. Um, yeah, that's lovely work. Um, he's he's re-engineered my wipers. Now, I love the fact the box appears to be sealed mostly with masking tape. Oh yeah, he has used glue. Sorry Ellie, your lovely paint. We'll, we'll, we'll put these on Foxanne instead because her paint is not quite so good. Okay. It's like past the parcel. Uh, more masking tape. And there we go. Shedding paper everywhere. Here is the um, rebuilt mechanism. So, uh, oh, it all feels much tighter. He's lubricated it as well. Um, so, um, if we can get some focus going on. Uh, allegedly, I'm the professional here. Right, I'm trying to manual focus here. So, here is the rebuilt spindle. Uh, we've got to take that nut off because this nut goes on the outside. So, that nut comes off. That little bit of decorative trim comes off and this rubber seal comes off. I see I've got paint all over my hands. I've been painting the GSA today. Uh, so there is the rebuilt spindle. Not one millimetre or not even a fraction of a millimetre of play in there. So like Colin said, it's the outer bush in here is replaced. And uh, the result is a wiper system that will hopefully be an awful lot better. Uh, I'll pull the other one off. Uh, you, you've seen me many times take two CV wiper assemblies out, so um, we'll fast forward a bit and uh, we'll, we'll get this wired up so we can operate it and see how the noise compares. Better remember to turn the manual focus back off. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Right then, uh, turn the ignition on. Oh. No, we don't need the indicators. Uh, operate the motor. That certainly sounds a lot better. It's still quite close to um, going over centre there. It's not desperately close, but I might just loosen the uh, motor bolts and see if I can't move the motor this way a little, although that will then just make that one go more over centre. No, I can't easily make that go over centre anymore. It was quite easy to just push it and it would um, go. So maybe we're all right. Um, I just can't try and work out where I want the wipers to be. Um, uh, we're that way up. 
that's the wiper there i think yep i think that's the my park position is there incidentally if you've got a 2cv and you want to change the park position it's quite easy you can just unbolt this metal bit here and literally park it the other way around uh, my parking switch doesn't work on my wipers so wherever i stop them is where the wipers stop uh, maybe that's something that, that would now work but um, i'm slightly confused about the wiring on the back of the switch but uh, nonetheless i'm going to continue getting that installed so we'll get the old one out which is just two eight mils here and the big nuts on the outside and we'll swap it over so the dash vents removed just gives enough working space to get the old motor out and uh, yeah we can see just how much more play there is in that spindle than uh, that one which has absolutely none uh, so we'll uh, thread this one in behind that one and find the hole uh, insert innuendo here and uh, I think I'm probably gonna just pop outside and start the bolts on um, screwing the bolts on on the outside here we go we're pulling that through there hopefully might need a little encouragement oh Ellie you've locked me out there we go that's going through there I want to use the better rubber seal the better finishing trim and then we can get the nut on start tightening that up she has a spark plug socket it's nice and deep it's typical 2cv but you can remove the wipers with a spark plug socket and again before we get too crazy with that we'll go and tighten up the eight mils on the inside what difference has this made ignition on uh, get some screen wash going there we go and parking i've managed to get the parking working again as well uh so uh, there we go that seems good um what i'm just gonna do is stop the wipers there because i just want to see what sort of play we've got yeah there's still a little bit of play but i think that's in the linkage rather than the spindle yeah i can't move the spindle up and down so that's just the amount of play we've got in there but um hopefully it's oh no it is still prone to doing that okay um that, yeah that's rather too prone to just it only takes a little gust of wind and that'll ping that over so that is still an issue okay well this is certainly a strange one uh, this is both the motors both on the extreme right hand position but uh on the one that keeps locking this bar seems to be further down um this one seems a bit straighter and uh, that seems to have a vast difference on the sort of angle we've got going on here that looks far less likely to go over tried moving the motor there isn't much movement in said motor so i don't think that's going to solve our problem but i wonder if we can move where this link rod goes yeah, let's uh, undo this nuts yeah, that'll be that way, won't it? There we go. Oh, there we go. So if we have that there a bit straighter, what's that going to do for us? Well, uh, if we put the power on, that doesn't look quite so close to going over square now. But where's the park position? That looks like it should be all right. But let's just stop it at the most extreme movement again. No. Oh no, I can still do that far too easily. That's just not right. This is baffling. I don't know if this spindle is in quite slightly the wrong place, but I don't know how to take these apart. I think they're all the press fit. And uh, this is turning out to be a far bigger issue than I ever imagined. Hmm. Perplexed. Officially perplexed by what on earth is going on. 
Right, let's see where we're at. Um, I've just moved that motor position again. Better maybe? Oh no, it will still go. It will still go over centre. But I think I'm just going to see how she does, because I think, frankly, I'm getting a bit sick of this one. It's the job that just keeps on giving. But uh, there we go. It's, it's done for now. Ooh, stream close up. So I think we'll just see how that goes. I've got my parking again, so that's good. I've got my parking back, so that's something. We'll just see how it goes, and if it blows over again, I think I'm just going to have to change the entire linkage. But thanks to Colin for rebuilding the spindles. They're now much more robust, and so it's a slight improvement at least. We are starting to get somewhere. Right, I need to tidy up my tools, because that's something I do now. And uh, yeah, there will be further adventures of Ellie in good time. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget Hubnut store, hubnut.org. You can find support options and lovely things to buy. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell.